Welcome to the first video of the Design Destiny YouTube channel where I will be teaching you guys how to make a 3D Valorant thumbnail. A huge shout out and thank you to Valorant Design and Editing and HickDZN for the render provided in this video. Their Discord join link and a Google Drive with all the renders they have will be linked in the description of this video. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. First of all open Photoshop and set the canvas size to 1280 by 720 since that is the YouTube thumbnail dimensions. The PSD and the images that I have used will be posted in the Design Destiny Discord server so make sure to join. Link in description. Now to start off, import the render from the pack into the PSD and size so that it fits the canvas as shown here. After you finish that, import in the background from the pack and resize so that the sky is showing as I have done here. Drag the background layer behind the render layer and adjust the positioning if you would like. I prefer to rotate the background in the direction the render is slanting so the camera angle feels more realistic. Once you're done, use the brightness and contrast layer to adjust the background, I prefer to increase the brightness and contrast so that it matches the render's lighting. Now use a color correction layer and edit the coloring so that the background is more pink, blue and cyan. I use this setting based on the color of the glow which I will be using. To make the background even more dynamic, use the motion blur from filters to add some blur. Toggle the blur in the direction of the tilt and set it low so that it's not too overwhelming. Use the eyedropper tool to grab the color from the render's hair and use the brush tool to lightly brush over the back of the render. Set the blend mode as normal and reduce fill or opacity depending on your preferences. When you have finished, make a new layer and brush over the background like last time, but set the blend mode as soft light. If you want you can reduce the opacity a little or use the overlay blending mode. To add some more glow, click on the side and set the color to Y. Add some glow behind the render and set the blend mode to overlay so that the glow can be brighter. Now for the final layer of the outer glow, use the purple color again and this time brush all around the bottom of the thumbnail. Set the blend mode as linear dodge add, then lower the opacity and fill by a lot. Now that we have the outer background glow, we will work on the inner glow on the render. Make a new layer, then right click it and apply a clipping mask. Set your color to purple in the blend mode as linear dodge add. Then lightly brush over the brighter areas as shown here. This takes a bit of practice so it may take a while to do it. Now to add a good glowy outline, navigate to the effects tab at the bottom of your screen and click on inner glow. Set the inner glow settings as shown. If you cannot see it well, I will be providing a screenshot of the settings in the pack. Enable the outer glow effect and edit the settings as shown. You can change the glow color to a different color if you want. Now copy your render layer and pull it above the current layer, and only enable the inner glow effect layer, then change fill to zero, and convert to smart object. After that, add a layer mask and erase the places without glow. After that you can continue adding glow layers with the methods I mentioned before. I personally like to use a combination of blend modes to create the best glow. You can try experimenting like I did here. If you would like you can use brightness and contrast layers at the end and a color correction layer to spice things up. But for now, I'll leave it and move on to the next step. Now when you're done, select all the layers and add them to a group as shown here. Then duplicate the group and hide the first group. Now open the second group and right click a layer to merge visible. Once you're done, click on filter and select camera raw. You can experiment a lot with this filter, however I will run you through the settings that I prefer. I like to add a lot of contrast to my designs, so I suggest you make the contrast high, the darks low and the whites a bit lower. I will be including a XMP file which is my camera raw settings in the pack, so don't worry. Now to make the design to have this textured feel, click on the details panel and add the sharpening super high, the smoothening to about the middle. This way the render and thumbnail can look more smooth. The color grading portion is entirely up to you, you can go back and forth changing both the color mixer and color grade to get the best effect. 
I'll skim over this part since it is not necessary for you to do this portion. Now for the last portion. This part is just one of my preferences, go to presets, and under curves, and select lift shadows. When you are done, go back to the curves section and edit the curves as shown. Pulling it down makes it darker while pulling it up makes it brighter. Just a note, this is so that the blacks are less contrasted, the effect is good but don't overdo it as it won't look good. Now here is my finished image. I have done some extra color correction and curve editing, and I'm ready to save this setting. Now for the extra added texture you can add a posterized layer as shown and set the settings high so it's not too extreme. Afterwards, click filter, blur, and then radial blur. I recommend that you do not set the settings too high because it will blur out a lot of the image. Finally, you can use another color balance layer if you want to correct the colors one last time. And there you have it, you have finished a Valorant thumbnail. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe and share this video for more content like this. Have a great day and design your own destiny.